We just made this DIY wooden lighted Christmas tree to sell at our craft show this week and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're getting the band back together. Me, Pocket Saw, and Brad are going to be making some wooden triangle Christmas trees. Yeah. So we were looking for kind of a quick and easy project for this week. We're still working on those last craft shows of the year. So we thought we'd make this like a, a two multi-purpose project for this week. It's going to be two reasons. One, we can do a video and it's a quick and easy Christmas craft that you can make. Second, it's something that we can sell at the craft show. That's right. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely what he's thinking. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed one one by two, the eight footer with the squared edges. That way it looks classy. We're gonna use this pine board, but you can get these in other wood variations and you can leave this unfinished. It, it's a nice natural look. So you can get it in oak or poplar or other types of wood to give it that nice green um, and just different interest elements to it. Little, little pop, little pop of the grain. Yeah. <laughs> we'll also need some glue. We're gonna use some Starbond Thick. That way it holds it quickly until we can get a good brad nail in there. We're using a one inch brad nail. Then we're gonna add some fairy lights here. These are little LED, ultra slim wired LEDs. Ultra slim. We're gonna add these. Now we wanna use eyelets, but we didn't get eyelets. We couldn't find eyelets when we were at the store. So we're plan B, use what you have. We're gonna use these three quarter inch, 16. They're like finishing nails. Yeah. With a, with a fat head on them. Yes, these little finishing nails. So we're gonna wrap our lights around so that the head, the head will keep them from sliding off. But I would recommend the little eyelets if you guys are gonna try this. Yeah, find the tiny ones. Little tiny ones. And that is it. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. And we're gonna make all of our cuts with our pal pocket saw. It's been a while, <laughs> now he's back. Don't let these cuts intimidate you. They are pretty easy. The tricky part here were the angles. We looked all over and we tried to find these angles and they weren't so easy, but we've got it all figured out and we're gonna give you those super secret angles <laughs> right now. Gonna give you the secret sauce. <laughs> we're gonna start by cutting a nine and a half inch piece and an eight and a half inch piece. All right, now, now time for the super secret sauce. We have to make a 50 degree angle, two of them, on the eight and a half inch piece and the nine and a half inch piece. But my miter saw only goes to 45. So to make my 50 degree, I'm gonna use this piece of scrap wood. I'm gonna cut this to 40 degrees. Then I'll be able to use this as like a guide or a block or a jig. So I'll be able to hit my 50 degree marks by then setting my head to 10 degrees. I'll show you what I mean here. these pink glasses. Everything looks so much happier. I know. <laughs> I love pink lenses. If I forget I have them on and I take them off, I suddenly feel depressed. <laughs> All right, so I cut it this way. Now I'm going to turn it this way. And that's my little jig. But now I'm going to set this at 10 degrees because 10 degrees plus 40 degrees will give me my 50 degrees. So I'll set this right here. I'll try to get that blade to hit that back corner. Hold on. So where is your board set? So I have it doesn't it. really matter. I have my board set here. And the blade is going to cross at the corner. Yes, I'm going to try to get the blade to cross at the corner. I and if see. I can't get it, I'll start out here and then I can move in here. I'll show you. So I have it set to 10 degrees now. Okay. 10 degrees. 10 degrees with a 40 degree jig. Okay. And I'll cut it a little long and then I can ease into it.
Maybe I'll nail it the first time. There's no real ease. Well, I can. I need a little bit right there. So we'll just butter it up against the blade. Now we'll do the nine and a half inch one the same way. Okay. I'll even start out here and show you how easy. Show you this perfect yes. right there. Well, your hands are covering it. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Oops. All right. So all the rest are going to be easy. We're just going to set. We're going to set it to 20 degrees, and make all the other cuts. On 20 degrees. End. Yep. We're going to hit the other end again. Just trying to hit the corner, but at a 20 degree instead. Now, on the same angle or opposite? Um, it's going to be this way. We're going to try to make them so that they're going to be done. Next, we're going to cut four one by two pieces at six inches, having a 20 degree miter on both the top and bottom of that piece. So we're going to leave it at 20 degrees. I'm going to trim off the end. And then I'm going to leave a stop block at about six inches and then just butt them up against and do all four. So I've trimmed my end at 20 degrees. I've set my stop block at six inches. I'm gonna use the short side up against the fence and then hit the stop block with the corner. And I'm gonna cut it at six inches. There you go. I need four of these now. So I'm gonna leave it this way. Short end against the, the fence, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, short end up against the fence. So we got four of these. All right, now we got to lay it out so that we can measure the bottom. I think it's going to be eight inches, but we're going to lay it out so I can measure the bottom. Oh, first, I'm going to measure an inch up on everything. Everything will move that by an inch. So we'll mark an inch on everything, so we'll now make sure everything's lined up. You mark one inch from the long end, from the little tip? Yeah, from the tip. Well, one inch up from the bottom, I guess, yeah. everything. And we'll just measure from tip to tip. That'll be easy. From this side to this side. Oh, what is that? Like eight and three quarter inches. Okay. So I'll do... Eight and three quarter inches on the back side. From the long end. Yeah, from the long end. I'll cut this at a 20 degree coming in. Stop block anymore. We can get rid of this bad boy. Go on now, get. I'm doing 20 degrees the other way because it's easier to flip my board. <coughs> see if it fits like a globe. Look at that. Perfect. Now we'll cut the bottom little base. We're going to make a little base piece. We're going to cut three pieces that are four inches. One piece is going to have 45s mitered on both sides. The other piece is just mitered on one side. There's 
is our base. That's our little foot. With an open end back, that way we could put the little LED battery pack in the back of that thing. Hide it back in there in that little foot. Yeah, we'll show you. I don't want to take my glasses off. I'm happy. <laughs> Step three, a time to assemble it. We're going to start bringing it all together one side at a time using some of the Starbond thick and then a quick little brad to hold it together. We're going to assemble the left side and the right side first. Base is brace, and I'm just gonna go in with a one inch brad. The nail, not the guy. Yeah. There you go, well, there's, our, there's our two sides. Look at that, it's already coming together. Time for some fat head nails. This is where we take these little finishing nails with the fat heads on them and we're going to hammer it in because that will be a whole lot easier than trying to hammer it in those tight little spaces once it's all together. So if you want to measure down or something, how are we doing this? Are we just going to come in willy nilly? No, I don't want to come in willy nilly. I think we should put them mm -hmm. every inch. Every one inch? Uh-huh. All right, you want Give me a little mark and I'll get a little hammer. I'm just gonna tap the nail in. I'm gonna try to leave like, I don't know, like a quarter inch hanging out. What do you think, a quarter inch? Mm, I'll have to tell you when I see it. Fine. It's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh, I might have to move that one. You will heave ho. All right. There you go. What do you think? Interesting. Okay, right. let's do it. Step five. We're gonna bring the two sides together. We're gonna settle the dispute between the Hatfields and McCoys right here. This is it. We're going to glue the two sides together and then glue the bottom in and pin it. Time to add the fairy lights. We're gonna start at the bottom where we're gonna put the battery pack and wind our way up, skipping every other screw, nail, skipping other, every other nail, and then hit that one on the way down. This is 13 feet of wire, so let's see how far it goes. Yeah, let's see if we can make it over here. Pretty easy, right? 
I think it was fairly easy. After you get that 50 degree cut, the rest is butter. I mean, we could pump these out with a little jig. Yeah. We could do like 10 of these in no time. And there's a couple of things you can do. You can keep them natural looking. You could stain them and add some white paint over them and give them that rustic look. I would probably just spray them before I did the fairy lights. Oh, good idea. Just spray the whole thing. Spray it with white glitter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Spray or it white with glitter. Some white glitter. I Ooh. think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I'm going to do it. And you know who else does it right? Our patrons. We love you guys. Thank you so much for helping us out. We loved having our conversation with you last week. We had our patron Zoom call. It's all business all the time. That was always <laughs> keeping us on track. <laughs> All right, we're about out of time. I gotta pump out like nine more of these before uh, Thanksgiving. And that's like 12 hours away. So I gotta go. We will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Look at this. Uh-oh, something to balance. This one's easy, easy as pie. Right, now we gotta go turn the lights out, see what this jam looks like. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go see some final shots.